right, I am in a cab, and that can only mean one thing. I am on vacation, and this time, instead of a typical Disney vacation, I am in New York City. Well, headed there. I'm leaving JFK right now. So, it's gonna be a fun trip. I'm gonna see some Broadway shows. There is gonna be a little Disney magic mixed in with this, so that will definitely be something fun to see. Um, but not my typical Disney parks or Disney cruise trips. So, if you so desire, I would love for you to join me because there's lots of shows, some Disney, and lots of good food coming your way. So, let's get started with the travel montage. Here we go. I just got out of the taxi and checked into my hotel. For this trip, I will be staying at the Row, New York, which isn't by any means the most fancy hotel, but it is located right in the theater district and kind of right in the heart of Times Square, so that will be nice. But I will take you on a brief room tour. One thing I will note is if you've never been to New York before, the hotel rooms, even with the nicest hotels, are all a bit smaller than you would normally be used to. So the bedroom itself and with a lovely view of the rest of the hotel on the other side because it's kind of connected over there but if I lean way way over way way over I can't see down and see some of the others some of the theaters down there so I've only eaten plain food other than breakfast when I woke up this morning so I think I'm going to get ready and go out and grab some food tonight I'm going to Hades town but yeah it's gonna be great. The dinner was delicious. That's the third time I've eaten there. Every time it's great. Um, and it was a good thing I was a party of one because otherwise it was like a 45 minute wait if you didn't have reservations. So definitely, if you wanna go there, get reservations, um, but really good food. Then I had to grab some dessert. So I am at Rockefeller Center and I am about to try for the first time something that everyone says I need to try the banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. So I've heard great things, so I'm excited to try it, but here we go. So it looks a little messy, but it looks delicious. So years ago, I lived in the South and I loved the banana pudding they had there. And this totally reminds me of theirs. It is really creamy, rich, and delicious. So definitely worth stopping for. All right, so I just got back from Hades Town, the musical, and also from stage door in there, and it was so fun. Um, I got lots of good signatures, and also they were giving out the kind of red carnations that have a lot to do with the story. At the end, they were handing those out, so that was kind of a fun plus in there too. But it was, I won't give away really spoilers if you're planning to see it, but it was excellent. So it is a modern telling of the Greek story of Orpheus and Eurydice and kind of their love and also with Hades and Persephone and his love with her and so they just kind of do it in modern terms but it's amazing because for a lot of it the whole cast and the orchestra they're all on stage um, either watching each other perform these things or kind of bringing things to life and there's moments when it seems like the set itself becomes a character in it and it's just really amazing so it was really good um, as you know with lots of Greek things, 
it's a tragedy. And with, um, at the very start, they say, you know, like the song is telling you, it's a sad song, it's a tragedy. But it's very cool how they do it and how Orpheus inspires hope in other people and how his biggest challenge is in his head, not actually what's going on on the outside. So there was some pretty cool stuff with that, but the cast was very nice. I waited, got signatures from some of the main characters and some of the ensemble, and they were all very nice and very supportive and very kind. Tomorrow morning, which is still gonna be on this vlog because today was really quick, I am gonna torture myself as I tend to do on vacations, and I'm gonna go to an early morning workout. Why, I don't know. It's just what I do. And then, Ginger is coming to town. So Ginger is going to be here to starting tomorrow. So that will be fun. And we are going to, yeah, hit up the town. So by the time you see this, it's just going to be in a few seconds, but see you in the morning. All right, so I got back from Barry's boot camp and I survived, but I wonder why I do that to myself on vacation. Because at first you're like, oh, like this treadmill's nice, but then I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. Like I can't wait until I get to do the weights. And then you start doing the weights and then that's the worst thing ever. And I'm like, I wish I was back on the treadmill. And they put you back on the treadmill. Then you're like, no, this is really bad. I want the weights. And then the weights are even worse. But we are done with that. And guess who flew in? Ginger. Ginger is here. And so we are going to head to breakfast. But yeah, yep. it's going to be pretty fun. All right, we got breakfast here. And Ginger got the scrambled eggs. And the hash browns. Some toast. I got the Tony Bennett French toast, which looks delicious. I'm not sure everything that it's got going on, but it looks awesome. We're at Bond 45 for breakfast. It's American Italian. We still don't know what that means, but we're here and it looks nice. All right, we just got done with breakfast at Bond 45 and it was really good, really good. And it was like a classy place and the prices weren't horrible for how classy it was. I didn't feel like. Okay. No, not bad. And the other thing is they had a really nice bathroom. And even nice restaurants can have creepy bathrooms in New York, so that was a plus. Ah, so there's mouthwash. Mouthwash in there, so yes. All right, we're going to be headed over to the vessel, but yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. So this is the vessel. It is kind of the new artsy slash public use space in the Hudson Yards complex. It's a lot of stairs and we don't really know what it means, but it's cool. Yeah, it reminds me of the movie Inception and Eric likes taking me on stairs because we went up those Hamilton stairs last time. Yeah, those were bad. Um, those were really bad, <laughs> but at least this looks a little cooler. This place is really cool. It's kind of weird and different. Yeah, it's pretty different. But it's like cool. And like, of course, there's nothing big going on here, but it's just like kind of a cool use of space. Yeah. Definitely something to check out if you so desire. It's free, you just have to sign up for tickets beforehand or if they have them the day of, you can get them. But I mean, there's the High Line to walk on, which I'd probably do before this in Central Park. But if you have some time and haven't done it before. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So something to check out. Here we are at the top. We made it. There's the city. And the stairs weren't as bad. No, they weren't as bad. Yeah, there's plenty of places to stop and yeah, take a break. So yeah. Overall, very fun. All right, so that was the vessel. It was pretty fun. It was fun. Yeah, so once again, a free thing you can do here in New York. So just reserve your time ahead. But yeah, it's ginormous. I think it's good too, at least do it once. 
Yeah, it's kind of a one and done thing, but it was still cool to walk around and see and kind of get the different views of the city. Yeah, so. for sure. All right, next we're headed over to Grand Central Station. Then we went to City Cakes, home of the half pound cookie. All right, we are here in Washington Square Park. I am losing my voice because I have been talking aloud to all of you guys, so I hope you appreciate this. But we just got half pound cookies at City Cakes. Yep, right here. And Ginger, what kind did you get? I got a uh, peanut butter Reese's Pieces something. It's gonna be quite rich. And I got something with Nutella in there, so. The City Cakes was a really small shop. You go down some stairs to get there. You go down another stair to get there. Anyway, but it look, the cookies we had tried to sample, they were really good. And Ginger is just trying hers now. Yeah, the sample of the Snickerdoodles was good. This is mine. That's a really rich chocolate cookie, peanut butter. Whoops. It's very crumbly. <laughs> I'm dropping it all over the place. But there's no way I can eat that whole thing. It's a half pound, a half pound cookie. Okay. It's so. delicious. Show us the greasy goodness yes. inside. When they, yes, you can see the greasiness coming through. So, so that's a little concerning. But here is mine. It is a Nutella filled um, with macadamia nuts. You can see that as a half pound cookie, and I'm gonna just break a little bit so you can see that goodness in there of that Nutella but it's looking really good so I'm gonna try my first bite but yeah it's it's kind of crumbly here and that was very good very very rich very buttery but very very good yeah that's how mine was So we are here at Dominique Ansel's Bakery and we are here for the cookie shots but as you can see from what I just showed there is a long line here which is totally okay. Yeah, we'll wait. More cookies. We can wait for cookies yeah. but yes. So this is the place where they actually invented the cronuts and it said cronuts are sold out for today because they only have so many each day. But yeah, we are here for the cookie shots which they serve every day after 3 p.m. So not in the morning but after 3 p.m. We are about to try the cookie shop here at Dominique Ansel's Bakery. So it is a chocolate chip cookie made into a glass. That's really yummy. That's good. I'm excited here. The cookie shop, which I've heard so much about. I'm very excited. The milk is kind of sweeter and vanilla-y than usual. And the cookie itself is softer than I thought. I thought it would be harder, so it is soft. Yes, it's soft. And it's got chocolate on the inside. It's hard to get your proportion right of milk and cookie. Yeah. That's the only hard part. But it's very good. It's very good. For our evening show, we had dinner at Shake Shack. All right, so we just got done watching Seawall slash A Life, which is a play, but it's really like two separate monologues, two separate stories told by two actors. 
Jake John Hall, and Tom Surridge. We didn't know Tom, but he's really famous and he was really good. So yeah, but Ginger, I'll let you say what you thought of it. Um, I thought they were both very good. Jake John Hall, like they just both seamlessly were able to tell their story. You laughed, you cried, you like, um, Jake Jenna Hall's story was very like medical based and I'm a nurse so it was very true to like details of that kind of stuff and how like medical events affect families and stuff so I thought that was just phenomenal. Yeah and it was both of the stories touched on life, birth, re family relationships, the end of life, the start of life in different ways and just kind of the questions that we all have to ponder on those things. And so it was really powerful and it left you to be able to interpret some things, but also just see kind of the pain and the joys that these people went through. So it was really good. Yeah, I and, thought, yeah. Yeah. Usually when I come to New York, I go to musicals. So it's a little out of my comfort zone or out of my box to go to plays, but it, it was well worth it. So. And for someone who just watches Disney shows, there was a little bit of language that was rough, but as far as like for walking the streets of New York, you would hear worse things just walking down to the subway. So it's one of those things where be aware of that, but it's only here for a few weeks. So, but yeah, if you do get to see it in some, if they ever bring it back in a different way, I thought it was really good. Yeah. And afterwards they both came out and signed autographs and took pictures. So yes, we were very excited about that. They were both very nice and like took the time to make eye contact with you, not, not just signing and like acknowledging what we were saying. Yeah. So that was very yeah, nice. Was awesome. So. A great first day here with Ginger and a great first end to this vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed joining us. We have more fun coming tomorrow. Yeah. Moulin Rouge. We also have going to meet up with some friends. So that will be on the next vlog. But for now, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing because we have more adventures coming, whether I'm at Disneyland, Walt Disney World, the Disney Cruise Line, New York City. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.